you so much, Mandy. And joining us now to tell us more about an exciting event called Wreaths Across America is Travis Parker and also Miss Jenny Reed. And thank you all both for being here. Sure thing. Um, just tell us a little bit, I'm not familiar, about the story behind Wreaths Across America, if okay. you would, the history. Yeah. It yeah, started in 1992. Uh, Jim went up in Maine. Uh, Mr. Warcaster had a uh, wreath company, mm -hmm. had some extra wreaths left over, and he remembered when he was a little kid going to Arlington and uh, placing the wreaths, you know, a few out at the, the cemetery, the National Cemetery up mm -hmm. there. So he put the 5,000 wreaths out at Arlington and got permission through uh, uh, the Maine Senator up there mm -hmm. to put them out there. And then uh, each year he put out a little bit more. It was just a little quiet That's thing. Nice, yeah. And then 2005, somebody taking a picture of the wreath, uh, the wreath out there with the snow and stuff. It's a very pretty picture. It went on the internet. It became a viral sensation. Mm -hmm. So then it became a, a big national event, okay. which now is international. Mm -hmm. And in 2007, um, they, it got so big they became a nonprofit organization. And in 2012, the one millionth wreath was placed uh, at the cemetery. And then a couple years later, they. Uh, well, now, four years after that, uh, mm -hmm. we're doing over a million and a, a half wreaths, wow. about two million volunteers, which about a third Across of them are children. Yeah, okay. So it's a, so it's a family affair. Type okay, thing. great. That sounds wonderful. So how long have y'all been doing it here in the area? Okay, this will be our fourth year in the Enterprise. Uh, mm -hmm. Dothan's been doing a few more years since Sunset. Mm -hmm. uh, we started uh, Metalone here in the Enterprise a couple of years. Last year we had the city cemetery in the Enterprise mm -hmm. and a couple of smaller cemeteries around Bethany and uh, Mount Zion. This year we're adding Elba where the, the American Legion up there is going to be helping. Mm -hmm. uh, also New, New Brockton and Delville okay. Cemetery. So we'll be doing over a thousand wreaths at several small cemeteries the there, plus the ones out at Metal. Okay, and the reason why, the main reason y'all wanted to come on today is just to ask for the community's help and donations, correct? Right, correct. Okay. Yeah. They can contact us, uh, uh, Travis at TravParker.com, or you can contact me uh, and you put my phone number on the yes, website. Yes, I will make sure yeah. that I put your yeah. phone number, yes. Uh, and I apologize for not getting no, that sooner. Okay, but, uh, okay. Uh, just contact us. Uh, we'll get the wreaths. We've got, got over a thousand wreaths coming in. Oh, and, good. Uh, I was going to add that was my yeah. next question. Yeah, yeah. so got a thousand uh, so far. Yeah, Billy Cotter with uh, uh, Century 21 has loaned us uh, the, a building downtown we can use to, to get them and sort of coordinate where the wreaths are going to do different stacks for different cemeteries, try to get so the logistics are, worked out. So these wreaths are going to go throughout the wiregrass, not just in. Yeah, well, from Delville, Enterprise. New Brockton. So several to, different yeah, cemeteries. Yeah, okay. Up to Elba, yeah. Well, it's yeah. a great thing y'all are doing. Anything else you want to add before we go today? Yes, we'd love for people to come out and volunteer in Elba. We had December the 15th at 2 p.m. at Evergreen Cemetery. It's the American Legion would love for people to volunteer and help us put the wreaths on the veteran cemeteries. All right, and we'll put that information on our website at DothanFirst.com. And thank y'all so much for being thank here this you. morning. I appreciate your time. And we're going to be right back. Stay with us. Wake Up Wiregrass continues after these messages.